My mission was to become the voice of these people and the eyes of the people from the other side. All, uh, all the people, you know, all over the world who are sitting on the comfortable couch and they, they're doing well. I want them to know that, you know, they are unfortunate people around the world and they are lucky. And, you know, if this in the end came with a Pulitzer, that means that I did the good work, me and my team. It was August 2015, and I was uh, on a beach, uh, the island of Kos. And uh, at some point, the, the sun came up, and it was fantastic. It was gorgeous. It was bright red and huge. And uh, there were boats coming, you know, in all these rafts. And then this raft, I guess the engine uh, stopped, and it was kind of drifting. And I called the Coast Guard. And then I ran to the car and I got this long lens. And I, I thought it was just an amazing photo and a scene. The raft looked so small and the sun was so big and the sea was, it was a gorgeous scene, but it was a tragic situation. When I take pictures, because I'm a photojournalist and not an artist, I don't care if it's beautiful or what. I care to tell the story in an ethical way and in a way that captures the uh, interest of the, the one that looks at the picture. If you have a, you know, a picture that is not uh, interesting, is, it doesn't have all these elements that makes the picture interesting, people don't look at it, you know, they, they, they go next page. Of course I empathize, but you know, when I work I try to be focused because, uh, you know, otherwise I would be an NGO worker or a priest or a doctor. Usually, the emotional uh, impact comes later in uh, different forms. Uh, so, you know, it can be insomnia, it can be nightmares that I had a lot, and uh, tears. I never, ever in my life, and this is a statement, work for a, a prize. For me, this is unethical. I didn't even know actually when the Pulitzer is going to be announced. And a friend of mine called me from New York. My top favorite picture is the father carrying the daughter through the rain up in the, the Greek border with Skopje. He was wearing this plastic garbage bag and he looked like Superman. At some point, you know, he kissed the child and it was, uh, it was just a, a beautiful moment because I'm a father and I have like a nine-year-old daughter and it was so just a, a simple, uh, you know, act of love. And I think it's a, just a universal picture. It's the father that protects the daughter, you know, every father understands. People have uh, choices. You know, if you choose to empathize with people in need, you do it. Myself, my grandmother is from Izmir. 1922, she came to Greece as a refugee. And she told me all the stories. She told me also, as a Greek, a lot of people, they, did, they didn't like the refugees coming from Izmir. And there were a lot of people who empathized and helped them. For me, there is only one choice to help these people because, you know, apart from uh, simple rules of humanity, global, uh, universal rules of humanity, uh, you never know when are you going to need somebody to help you. You don't, you don't know if one day you become a refugee or a migrant. And you know, Greece is full of people that becoming every day, they're becoming immigrants. How would you like if, uh, you know, your brother, you live in Greece and your brother goes to the States and they treat him badly? The way the Greeks handled the crisis, in the middle of a crisis, it was remarkable. You know, they gave money out of their pocket that is, has no money. The Pulitzer should go to the Greek people. In Greece, the financial crisis is not over, obviously. 
I hope the next big story is not going to be in Greece. <laughs> Please, no more big story in Greece. <laughs>